take this with a pinch of salt. This is a claim which has been made by the Pakistan defense establishment. And now when we look back at the video, some of the evidence which is surfacing online, in fact, a particular Twitter handle has gone ahead and debunked this particular test. Very clear technical specifications have been highlighted by this particular Twitter user. And this is a, a video that I would like to focus on at this point in time, Anand. In fact, if we go and look at this video, which is, let me clarify, has been put out by the Pakistan defense defense establishment claiming that this is the Barber 3 submarine launched capable missile which has been test fired. Let's just look at this video first Anand and then let's try to look at what is the concern that has been raised now. Let's just play the video for you and I want the viewers to watch it after about 6 to 7 seconds. That is when the transition particularly happens. Now this is a video which has been put out by the Pakistan defense establishment but this particular video has now been questioned by those who are in the know of submarine capable launch missiles and how these uh, particular missiles are test fired and how they are tested for accuracy before we can even go ahead and claim that this test firing of this missile was successful. Now very carefully if you look at this uh, video Anand, the uh, online, uh, the kind of uh, reasons that are being put forward for questioning the authenticity the way this missile flies, there is a feeling and many feel online that this is more a computer graphics initiated missile test rather than a genuine one. Can you very clearly see the dissolve which happens in the video and you can see very clearly there are two particular canisters which can be seen on the video. So the allegation that is being put forward is that this was a missile which was launched with another canister attached to it. So clearly that has to be taken with a pinch of salt. Also, as we go forward, we can look at another angle of the same particular video, the travel time that this particular missile took. Now from the video, if you do a rough calculation, the so-called claim that it hit the target after being launched from a submarine from the middle of the Indian Ocean is an undisclosed test site Anand. So when this Barber 3 Pakistan missile was apparently launched, the travel time of this particular missile, it took about 15 seconds to travel a distance of nearly uh, uh, 8 seconds, I beg your pardon, to travel distance near 15 kilometers. If you look at the speed, that is something that is beyond the calculation of a submarine launch capable missile. So when you look at the different angles and the different aspects to it, clearly there are many doubts which are being raised and this is something which uh, has not come out from an official quarter at this point in time but videos are already being questioned and this is something that happens after any country claims to have made any significant progress with respect to submarine launch capable missiles there are so-called experts who go into the video and see if there is anything which uh, has some suspicions to it and this video at this point in time has multiple doubts surrounding it Anand. Well, they 